famously Hunter Biden's business partner, and as such, he watched firsthand the Biden family's overseas influence peddling operation in progress. But he's not the only one who saw it. Now there is another whistleblower with firsthand information who is speaking. This person was on a conference call in 2012 as Joe Biden was president. That call included Joe and Hunter Biden, as well as Hunter Biden's business partner, Jeff Cooper, the late Senator Harry Reid, and his son. The call was about obtaining an overseas license for a gaming company called Oco Global, which Hunter, Jeff, and, and Harry Reid's son were involved in. The DailyMail.com spoke to the whistleblower. Here's part of it. I was involved with Ocho. Um, there was a conference call I overheard, incidentally. On that conference call were Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Jeff Cooper, Harry Reid, and Key Reid. The reason that they were talking about it is that this is an internet gaming and gambling company. What they were specifically talking about was uh, you know, how the business development was happening. They were joyous that they had just uh, gotten an agreement tacitly with the government of Peru for a license. Um, the thing that was outstanding, you know, or obvious more than anything else is Joe Biden was directly involved in this business activity. He wasn't passive, he was talking about it. If I had to describe him, he was like a member of the board of directors. Maybe because of his prominent position, I would even describe him as the chairman of the board. So the sitting vice president is involved in a business deal for online gambling. Could it get sleazier? Josh Boswell is a senior reporter at Daily Mail. He joins us tonight. Josh, thanks so much for coming on. So just to be clear, the man in the video we just saw whose image and voice were obscured had direct first-hand knowledge of this. That's absolutely correct, yes. This whistleblower was on that conference call in 2012 when Joe Biden came on, Harry Reid, the uh, then Senate Majority Leader, came on, and Joe Biden was asking all these detailed questions about revenue projections for the company, uh, when the website would be live. He seemed very concerned, the whistleblower said, about what money they would be making from this company, and that's the Vice President of the United States. Well, that's a crime. That's a felony. The sitting Vice President's not allowed to do that. No government official is. So is anybody, is the FBI following up on this, do you know? Well, the whistleblower has tried to get this to law enforcement, to Congress. I, I've seen documents showing their outreach, uh, but nobody has uh, responded to them properly yet. And they have made themselves, um, uh, uh, they've notified um, the, the uh, senators who are investigating Hunter Biden. Um, so hopefully that will be followed up now. And I think the thing that may change um, after tomorrow is that there are a couple of committees that are going to have subpoena powers. And maybe that will really kickstart things in this particular part of the investigation. That's unbelievable. I mean, Biden would really have to sing a hymn in an abortion clinic to get the interest of the FBI, I think, at this point. Uh, Josh Boswell, thank you so much for your reporting, as, as always. Thank you. So we want to sum 